Hi everyone, welcome back to Clipping for Coupons with Allie. Today I am here to share with you a product review. I know it is not a couponing video, but I think you guys will really like this. And if you do, please give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to share with you some of the product information and then I'm also going to do a demonstration on how to use this product and what the finished product will actually be after using it. I am also going to be giving away a free one as well. So all you will need to do to enter this giveaway is comment down below any random number that you guys would like and watch this video the whole way through. If it is something of interest to you and you think that you will be able to use it or a friend or a family member, definitely enter this giveaway and I will be announcing a winner soon. So. A company had reached out to me um, called Hayden Eon, and it is a company that is on Amazon that is dedicated to providing home appliances. I am guessing that they are a newer company because they don't have a lot of products, but that could be good and that could be bad, and we're going to get to the pros and the cons of this product. And this product here, it was just launched and it is an automated, automatic electric milk frother. And this is on their US Amazon store. So anybody can go on to Amazon and purchase this product. Right now, um, it is listed on Amazon for $39.97. If you have Prime, you will also have free shipping. If you go on today, you can have your order as soon as January 2nd. So that is pretty fast shipping, especially with Prime. And again, the cost of this is $39.97. So first things first, shipping was super fast and it was super easy. Um, the order was placed and then the next day I did receive the product, so that was awesome. It did come inside of a regular Amazon cardboard box and it was securely placed in there and there was no problems with shipping, so that was awesome. And the product made it in one piece, so that is even better. So if you guys do order this product, do not worry about your product being damaged inside of the box. They do package it very well. So this is a milk frother and not everybody knows what it is and I have never used one before. So I wanna just tell you for one second what a milk frother is. So I don't know if you guys have ever had a latte or a cappuccino either at Starbucks or uh, Dunkin' Donuts, wherever you guys go. It is the foamy milk that you can find on the top of your drink. So that is froth. It's from the milk frother. So this is an automatic electric milk frother. And if you have ever had one of those, you can do this right at home. So this milk frother does both hot and cold milk frothing, and it offers you two different options. So if you want, you can have a hot foamy milk or you can have a cold silky milk. I know not everybody likes the hot foamy milk, so it is hot and cold, so that is definitely a plus. And it does say that this is super fast and super easy to use. You can have creamy milk foam within one minute of cutting down the fragrance of the milk. So this is great for making lattes, cappuccinos. You can also make hot chocolate. You can do a ton of different things with this right in your kitchen. So this milk frother, it will heat up to about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And the best milk temperature for a latte or a cappuccino is usually between 140 degrees Fahrenheit and 158 degrees Fahrenheit. And the Hayden Eon electric milk frother can heat up the milk to 150 degrees Fahrenheit and that is automatically and it is a stainless steel product so it is white and it has some stainless steel on it and our kitchen has white in it so it goes perfectly fine and 
it does have a little clear top. You can actually see through it. And I will give you guys a close up of this as soon as I'm done sharing some information. So the milk jug is made of a premium 304 stainless steel and it makes the jug more durable. It also has an anti-sticking coating on the inside of the jug, so that definitely makes it easier for cleaning. And they also have this that is included for cleaning as well, so this should make it super easy. It also has an LED indicator, and one of them is for the cold milk foam, and the other one is bubble and heat milk. So it will light up blue and that means cold milk frothing and the red light that you will see means frothing and heating simultaneously. So when frothing or heating is finished, the LED indicator will turn off automatically for you. Now this does come with two different frothing whisks. The first one is for the froth whisk and the other one is a heat whisk. So those come with it automatically and they are super tiny and all you do is you just place it at the bottom of this jug. And it's, I'm telling you guys, it is so easy to use and there are the two different whisks in there and what you do is you just keep them in there and you know, they will do their thing. Another cool thing about this is it does have an auto shut off, so you guys don't have to worry about leaving it on. It will automatically turn off for you when you are done using it. So this machine is going to get you the most creamy and frothy milk foam for all of your desired beverages. And it does say that it guarantees the smooth texture and original taste of frothed and, frothed and steamed milk. So this can heat cold milk up to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, and it will take about 60 to 100 seconds to do that. And all you do is at one, you touch one single button and it's going to heat up the milk for you. So that is as simple as it gets. The max milk frothing for this is 130 milliliters or about 4.4 ounces and the max milk heating is 300 milliliters, which is about 10.1 ounces. So what came in my box? So everything came inside of the Amazon box and then everything else came inside of the black box to the right that you guys see. And I think that this is actually a really neat box and it's very well packaged again. So here is the side of the package, milk frothing and heating, cold milk frothing and milk heating. So it does all of those functions. And here on the other side, it just has a picture. Up here at the top, it just has a little lip and that makes it super easy to open and use. And if you guys are wondering what the specifications are, here it is. And always read the warnings and also if you have any questions, there is a customer support email and you can also contact them on Amazon because that is where this product is coming from. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask Amazon. They are super fast at replying to emails, so you are um, definitely going to get your answer. So inside of this black box came the jug and the jug is white and it is stainless steel. And up here at the top, it is a clear plastic top and it's super easy to open and it goes on very smoothly, but you can tell that it doesn't have any leaking or any problems like that because it has this little rubber stopper. And like I said, it's super easy to take out and put back on. It's clear and I don't know if you guys can see right there at the very bottom, those are the two different um, heating and whisking or frothing little whisk. So you get two of them and that's them at the very bottom. And here is a closer look. And as you guys can see over here, there is a max line. There is two of them. One of them way down there is the minimum. Then there's a max and then another max. So I hope you guys can see that. 
and it looks very well built. It doesn't feel cheap whatsoever. Here is the name of the company, Hayden Eon. There are two buttons here, one for cold and one for hot. And I don't know if you guys can hear it, but these are click buttons. These will light up blue and red. Here is the stainless steel handle. Seems very well made. And here is a caution. Here is the bottom of the machine. And it also comes with this base right here. This is the heating and it comes with a cord. And again, this for cleaning when you guys are done at the very end. And also it does come with this instruction manual. So always look this over before you guys start to use it. It definitely has a few helpful tips in there for you. So that is just a little bit of the basic information, but let's jump right into using this so I can show you exactly what it does. All right, guys, welcome back. So now we are actually going to try out this product. Right now I have some water that is boiling in this right here. It is not measured out, but we are going to be making some hot chocolate. So I am boiling some water. We have a heat safe cup right here that we are going to pour our drink into. I also have some whole milk that I picked up from Rite Aid. And right now I have this little heater. This is the base. I have this plugged in to the wall here. And the jug is, um, the lid is off of the jug. And I do want to point out that there are two different whisks. This is the first one that is for the cold. And then on the top of the lid, this little black piece right here, it comes off and this is for the um, heating, the warm one. So just look out for both of those pieces. They are tiny, but before you guys begin, just make sure that they are in there for you. So because we're going to start with the cold, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this cold whisk right in the middle down there on that little black piece right there. And as you can see, it just has a little hole and it doesn't click in, it literally just slides in super easy. Okay, so now I have placed the whisk down there and it is secure and I still have the clear lid off of it. We're going to um, pour some milk in here next, but I just wanted to point out the minimum and the maximum lines. I hope you guys can see that okay. The bottom minimum and maximum is for the cold milk. So um, we are going to start with that and I'm actually going to fill it to the maximum level for you guys. So I'm going to pour some milk in here and also make sure you guys um, have, if you're going to do hot chocolate, measure out about three tablespoons um, of the hot chocolate. And if you guys want some marshmallows, you can always add those in later as well. Okay, so we'll start with the milk. And we're just going to pour to that maximum line. And just make sure you guys are on a flat, clean surface. All right, so there we are. We filled it to the max line. And now we can go ahead and put this clear lid right on top. Make sure that it is securely on there all the way around. So just double check that. And also um, just double check on the water and make sure that that is boiling as well. So everything can be done at the same time. All right, so next what I'm going to do, I have the milk that's in there, I have the lid on top, I have this little base plugged in over here, and the water is just about to boil. So I'm going to take this whole jug using the handle, and I'm just going to um, very carefully place it on the base. It does not hook in or snap in. I don't know if you guys can see, but I do have a little bit of a gap here, and I don't think that it will click in anymore so just place it on onto this base because we are starting with cold we're going to go ahead and press this top button here and you click just one time you can hear it making a little bit of a noise 
And as you can see, the milk is starting to go in a circle. And this is moving around a little bit, but it's not like shaking off of the base. It seems safe to use. And you can already tell that the texture of the milk is actually changing. It looks a little bit thicker. And it seems actually pretty quiet. I don't know if you guys can hear any noise in the background, but most of that noise is coming from the water that is boiling. So this is going to get you creamy and frothy milk foam for all of your favorite beverages. You can do um, lattes, cappuccinos, hot cocoa. You can do pretty much whatever you want, even coffee if you would like. And you guys, you can actually froth and heat at the same time, so I'm going to share that with you next. So while that is finishing up, it looks like our water is boiling. So I'm going to go ahead and place three tablespoons of hot chocolate right into this cup here. Definitely made a mess. I'm going to unplug that and pour some water. And I'm going to leave a little bit of room at the top. We can go ahead and stir this in. And you guys, our light has actually went off. It is no longer blue. And here is the final product. I'm just going to finish, finish mixing up this hot cocoa. And then we can take it right off of the base. Okay, so simple and easy. It came right off, no problem at all. And I just touched the bottom of it. I just wanted to make sure that it was not warm or hot, and it is not. So let's go ahead and take the top off. Check this out, you guys. Look how foamy this is. This is actually so cool. I've never used one of these before. I've never even had a drink like this, you guys. So look at that. Nice and foamy. Let's go ahead and pour it on the top of this hot cocoa. Wow, that is awesome. That is so cool. So there is our hot chocolate. So you can see that the hot chocolate is at the bottom and this water is actually super, super hot. I let it boil for a little bit longer than I usually do. And the milk is not going anywhere. It is staying right where it is supposed to be. And you can sprinkle anything you would like on top of there if you'd like. And look, look how much it made. It's nice and thick and foamy. And it's not like overly thick. It's not like clumpy or chunky. It is just very nice and foamy, thick and creamy. So that is using the cold milk and the cold whisk. Let's try the heating and also the other whisk. So what did you guys think about the first step with the cold milk? I thought that was pretty cool. It was my very first experience and so far so good. I have nothing to complain about and this thing is actually pretty neat. So I would definitely recommend as of right now purchasing this product. But let's go ahead and try out the other whisk and this is going to be for the heating whisk. So um, all I did was I rinsed this out and I rinsed it very good. Just as a reminder, you guys, you don't wanna get the bottom wet. So don't get this wet at all. It does have a little caution reminder on it, but definitely do not expose this to any water while you are cleaning it. Just be super careful. I was able just to rinse it out completely, but I only put milk in here. So um, just as a heads 
heads up, you guys, you can also put hot chocolate in here as well when you are doing the heating. So not with the cold milk, when you're doing the heating milk, you can actually throw the hot chocolate right in here with the milk and it will be a drink all in one. So I still have some boiling water here. This was our very first drink and of course I still have the whole milk. And what I need to do is remove that whisk down there that we initially put in. So that is how easy it comes out. It literally just slides right out. And remember the other whisk is right here on top of the lid. So I'm just going to take this piece out. It just slides right out. And then we're going to place it down there on top of that little black piece. All right, so now we have that little black piece on and you will notice that it is missing from the top here. And what we're going to do is we are going to fill the milk to this max line right here. And you don't want to fill it any more than the max line. There we go. And now um, we're going to place this top on. Make sure that it is securely on there. Make sure that there are no gaps. And then we are ready to place it on the base. Okay, so now it is on there and we are doing the heating part. So now we're going to use this button right here. You just press it once. It is lighting up red and you can hear that it is starting. So this thing is pretty quiet. It's pretty neat. So if you guys are doing this like late at night, early in the morning, you are definitely not going to wake anybody up. So we'll just give this a second and while that is going, I'm going to pour my hot chocolate in the cup just like I did last time. So I poured the hot chocolate in there. I'm going to pour the water in there. Of course, leave a little bit of room and check this out. What do you guys think of this product so far? And it's actually super quick. It doesn't take long at all. So about 60 to 100 seconds. And our little red light is still on. And you guys, you can use any kind of hot chocolate or any coffee or latte, cappuccino, whatever your favorite is, you can definitely use that. This is what I'm using. And you can see that it's definitely getting warm. There's a little bit of um, steam that you can see forming at the top. And remember, we couldn't see that last time with the cold milk or the cold whisk, I should say. I don't feel any heat coming from it at all. So it all holds the heat inside of this. And look how steamy it's getting. So this one seems like it takes a little while longer than the um, cold whisk, but that's because it's not only heating, but it's also frothing as well. It just made like a little ticking sound and now our light has turned off so now this is completely done 
And as you can see, there is steam that has formed at the top of this lid. So when you open it, just be very careful. We're going to remove it off of the base and it is not hot, so you can place it on any surface that is flat and safe. And here is the first look. So this is um, a little bit milkier, creamier. Um, it's not as thick as the first one was. When we did the first one, it was super thick and it had a lot of foam. This one is more liquid. It does have a little bit of foam to it, but not like the first one. So this is our first one. And this is super hot, you guys. This was boiling water. And all of this um, foam froth milk is just hanging out at the top. So that is pretty neat that the heat is not affecting that at all. So now let's go ahead and add this to the top. And this is more of just like a milk. So this might be better if you want to add in the hot chocolate right to this jug. It seems like it may work out a little bit better. But as of right now, you guys, I am liking this first idea right here. So this thing does a bunch of different things. It's multi-purpose. And who doesn't like coffee, hot chocolate, drinks, especially in the winter here in Connecticut? It's been freezing. So this came right on time. So you guys, I think that is it for this product review. And I thank the um, Amazon seller so much for reaching out to me. This is actually an amazing product. I would definitely recommend using it. And for $40, this could make a great gift. So keep that in mind. If you guys want to see more of these videos, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to click that notification button so you do not miss out on a single video.